right, so in today's beatbox, we are going to learn um, how to end our pieces of music. We're going to learn something called cadence and creating a question and answer. But first, I want to just review a few quick things. First of all, you need to always move from left to right. You need to start on a brown tonic note or a blue dominant note. You need to move in steps, so over one, up one, or over one, down one, or you can move in skips and leaps if you go to a blue note, or to a brown note. You need to make sure you only have one note at a time, so you wouldn't want to create two notes here. Just move. And you want to make sure you have a variety of long and short notes. So I'm going to just finish this melody. I'm doing a pattern of long, short, long, short. Now, here's the new information. The way you end, the very last note that you play, will determine if you are asking a musical question or giving a musical answer. If you end it, let's first of all, let's see, hear what it sounds like so far. Now, if I end it on the dominant note, which is a G, it'll end up sounding like a question. It doesn't matter which one I ended on, but it'll end up asking a musical question. Let's listen. I'm going to take that same thing, and I'm actually going to show you how to copy this. If I type the letter C on my keyboard, I'm going to go to number two. And I'm going to type the letter V and pastes it so I don't have to retype it. I'm going to take that same melody you just heard and I'm going to create a musical answer by changing the last note to a tonic note, which is a brown note. So questions will end on G, answers will end on C. Questions are blue, answers are brown. So this, is, this one is a answer. So what we have here, you're going to hear a question, it's part one, and, this, and the answer is part two. Oops, it's playing part two. <laughs> Here's part one. And that is what you are doing in today's assignment.